pretty lady. It's always exciting when an Amazon person drops off a package. Um, I have bruises all over my hips. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward also gotta come in there. Friendliness is next to godliness. Mm -hmm. All right, kitties. I'll be right back. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill, and this is it's the Donnellys. This is Eddie. Say hi, Eddie. Hi. He's such a sweet boy. Look at him. He has his little harness on because I've been letting him outside lately. I have a little bit of update on that situation too because our outside jaunts with the cats have been um, a little bit more successful these days because I'm letting them out in the back and I'll show you that in just a minute. But today's Friday and it's a little bit of an overcast Friday. I'm gonna start by going, well, I was gonna start by going for a walk, but Mike told me that he has an appointment. He's looking for some office space because the office upstairs is not doing it for him. And um, it's not doing it for me either. I would, it'd be nice to like, we feel sometimes like working from home, you really have to get out a little bit. So if we had a place to go, that would be a good thing. Um, we've been going to Starbucks. We rode our bikes to Starbucks the other day and that was really nice. Um, when we were in Maryland, he had a bit of a separate space because he could go downstairs in the basement and there was a separate space down there. But here, not so much. We only have two levels and like upstairs is kind of the kids area. Down here is sort of like the living area. And there's really not a space for a uh, desk down here. So anyway, we're gonna go take a look at that. And then after that, I'm probably gonna do my walk. But, um, hey Mike. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? It's another day I wish you a salad show. It is, I've set the thing up so I was reading gonna... my cup and it says it's another day I wish you a salad. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That, what, are the, what are the chances? What a brilliant man. He's a brilliant, it, what, how do you know it was a man? How do you know it was a man? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, it was you? Yes. Want to say hi to everybody? Hello, everyone. Mike Happy is, day. Mike Happy is day. smelling fresh and clean. Crisp and clean, no caffeine. <laughs> I, however, I do think he's having caffeine. My mom would always say, cleanliness is next to godliness. Mm -hmm. Right, Mom? Mm -hmm. mm. You know who else said that? Oh. I think Lucy. Really? Yeah, from Peanuts. Really? Yeah, I don't know if she actually said it, but I know that I've seen like little cards or something that say that and it's like her saying it. And maybe she was saying it to Pigpen. Pig <laughs> and Pigpen is not very close to being godly, if, if that's the truth, because the whole cleanliness thing is the truth. All right, you guys, I'm gonna um, change out. You see the space, the space? I think I'm going to. these folks? Yeah, you guys wanna come along? You can help us decide. I'm gonna change out of my jammies though. Yeah, that might be a little It'd be weird if I strolled through my, but it's a good question for them. It's, since it's my own office space, am I allowed to come here <laughs> in my jammies? <laughs> right? <laughs> Mike's been making my coffee for me recently. And he calls me darling. So in the morning, this is what I get. Here's your coffee, darling. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. I keep reassuring him and giving him good feedback because I want him to keep doing it. It's very nice of him. I thrive on positive reinforcement. Yes, he does. And that's something he made very clear to me. So you have to always give him positive feedback or just feedback, but positive feedback is good. All right. That's enough for today. Unless you want me to show you the cat. Well, no, no. I'll show you the cat stuff when the cats are actually out there. It makes no sense to sort of show you their setup now. I'll show when they're out there, but I'm going to go get ready so we can go check out this space and then start my day. All right, you guys, that didn't take very long. The kitties. Wanted to go out. So this is what we've done. We've taken we've taken these leashes and I've tied it to the shepherd's hook. So Al, Edward has one, Alice has one. Wait. Oh, okay. So Alice and Eddie come out here. Oh. oh, that was close. Alice and Eddie come out here and they can just be in the garden and everything. So they like it. There they are. So Alice has the little pink leash and Eddie has the little blue leash. They're both tied to the um, shepherd's hook. And generally, I mean, they, that's really the radius that they go. They go over here and they go over here. They like to hide in there. They try to climb that tree. Sometimes they can, but basically this is their deal. The only thing is I have to be nervous about is if like a big bird walks by or something, then they are gonna wanna chase it. So I have to be very careful. Um, so generally I'm out here with them. They've only wiggled out of their little leash. Edward did one time and Alice did one time, but they haven't lately. So I think they don't even think about that now. Like I think it's probably not an option for them. That's what I'm hoping. 
but it gives them a little outside time and they like it and they get to smell the dirt and go potty if they want and do whatever. So it's been a really nice, they're out there probably three different times throughout the day. It's been a really nice compromise and it's easier for me to watch them out here than it is out front because I like to sit on the lanai right over here and do my work. Today it is 70 degrees out here. Isn't that nice? It's very humid. It rained last night. I'm just looking. My pot got a little bit wet. I'm going to need to pour him out. But look, oh my gosh, we have a blooming flower. Oh, sweet. I brought this little guy back to life. Oh my gosh, look at the hibiscus. Wait, hold on. Can you see that? Wait, right there. There's one and another one right there. Oh, that makes me so happy. My peppers are doing okay. They have these little things though. If you guys are gardeners, let me know. They have these little white like ugh, things on them. And look at this. Okay, this pepper right here has like this little white. So I think I need to get, so I think they're buggies. Oh, see this one's not doing well. So I think I need to get some insecticide spray. I'm not quite sure what to get, but I'll go to the Home Depot today and I think this crop might be bad. And this whole, I don't know if I can bring him back. This whole thing might be bad. I hope not. All right, kitties. I'll be right back. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm going to go get ready so we can go look at this place. Oh, you guys were talking to Katie. My FaceTime. Hi, baby girl. She Hi, was mom. just telling me about circus practice. Katie, can you, in a nutshell, tell everybody about circus? Um, it's going really well. Um, I have bruises all over my hips. Mm -hmm. and my inner thighs from Russian bar, which makes it look like I'm getting abused, but I'm not. Um, it could be really awkward when I have to put on a bathing suit for spring break. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's okay. I, I love it. I love it. Well, you know what you were just saying, and that makes me think, holy cow. So you only have a certain number of practices before you... So Kate was nervous because they took like a month and a half off for Christmas, and now she's back to practicing. But you're going to take off for spring break, too. Before you, what is it? Sorry, that was weird. It was like there was like a siren or something going off. Oh, weird. Anyways, I sorry. I just watched everyone walk into my classroom. Oh, okay. Say that again. So really? the, the fact that you only have so many practices, she performs in April. It is now the beginning of February, so you only have so many practices until April. But also, you have a week off for spring break. And one of my um, porters for, that's what they're called, we just found that out. Oh. Um, the people that hold the bar, our Russian bar, are called porters. Okay. And um, Lucas is going to be on spring break before our spring break. Oh. Because his brother's spring break is not the same time as his. So, like, this is totally a you thing to do also. So, like, I don't blame him. Right. But, like, she booked, her, his mom booked, like, flights. Before, like for his spring break, so now Lucas isn't going to be there the past the next like couple practices. Okay, so can somebody else step in for him? No. Oh, Katie, all right. So Katie is basically it's, it's not like it's not like cheer where you can just like substitute people in. Right. So Kate's nervous that she's not going to have enough practices before the performance. Yeah. Also, I have to get some contact solutions because oh, yeah. I need to put my contact. I couldn't see today at practice. Okay, can you go this to yes, or do you want me to send it to you, Amazon? What do you want me to do? Um, maybe Amazon it to the house. Oh, also, <laughs> I have a little thing that's arriving at the house today for you. You do at my house? Mm -hmm. Should I film opening it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think, oh, no, you can't, because I want to be there when you open it. Oh, so I'm not going to open it. I should wait. No. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Will do. All right, you guys. I'm going to say goodbye to the camera and then finish up with Kate. Kate, Dad and I are going to go look at some office space today. Dad, I have four. Dad's going to get an office space? Well, he's yeah. like rent. Like he's sick of uh, working in the house. So we're, gonna, we're just going to go look at it and see. Okay. Well, um, he could use my room for the time being. That's very nice of you, Katie. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he can. But um, my class is right there okay. and I'm late. I'm not late. I have four minutes, but I like to sit down and get all my ducks in a row. What's it called? Eggs in a row. Ducks, ducks. in a line. <laughs> Eggs yeah, in just... one basket. <laughs> yeah. Look at, look at how dry my fingers are. Oh my gosh, Kate. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Love you. I love you so much. Bye. It just occurred to me that you guys might not know what we were talking about, Katie and I on the phone. Um, for those of you that have been watching, so Katie goes to Florida State University and 
they have a student-run circus there, one of two circuses in the United States on college campuses. So anyway, so Katie tried out for the circus using her cheerleading pole vault and gymnastic skills and made it. So that was in the fall. So she tried out, I'm going to say like October, maybe September, probably September. And they've been practicing and practicing and practicing. So the first show that she's eligible to be in, the first set of shows is in April. So she's working towards... Um, being in those shows, which is very exciting. She did tell me the other day, so this is the thing. So they practice, 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 right, through the fall. And then they had Christmas break off, which was a month. And then they got back from Christmas break the beginning of January, but the, when they before they left, they had to break the tent down and then they put it back up. So they just finished putting the tent back up, so they just started practice this week, which this is the first week of February, and they perform in April. So she's like, okay, mom, I had like six weeks off. I don't know if I can do this anymore, like like do the skills anymore. Um, but she was really thrilled to get back to practice, and she did tell me that it's not a guarantee. Even though she made the circus, it's not a guarantee that she's going to be performing. What they have to do is they do what's, she got an act evaluation. So each of the acts that are practicing, the performers that are practicing have to get an evaluation and they have three levels of evaluation that they do before they give them, you know, the approval to to prepare to perform in the show. So I've been frantically like waiting for to find out when the tickets are going to be sold because they sell it sells out like that it's one of those things where you have to be on your computer when the tickets go on and I am not going to miss watching Kate in the circus and as a matter of fact I'd like to be at all the shows that she's in. She won't be in all of them because I think there are two acts of each of the ones that she does, like two sets of people that do what she does. So anywho, um, that has been very exciting for us, but now she's sort of like over the, she was anticipating going back to practice for a very long time. Like, oh my gosh, am I still gonna be able to do it? Like, what's it gonna be like? So now she's gotten over that hump and she, you heard her talk, so she's enjoying practice. She's just bruised and sore. <laughs> um, but she's been um, practicing. So that's very exciting. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see um, her perform. I can throw some of her video in here of her practice from last fall. I haven't seen anything from this year or this, yeah, this semester yet. But I'll throw some video in of her practice from last fall so you guys can see what types of things she's working on. I don't think I saw, she's in a, she's in two acts. One is Russian Bar, which is like where she just told me today, she just said they're called porters, I guess, right? Two men hold the bar, one on one shoulder and one like way over on the other shoulder and she mounts the bar and jumps and does flips and stuff. And then the other one that she's in is a jump rope one where I think they have two jump ropes and people are in the middle and they do like climb up things, like climb up on, on each other while they're jumping rope and then they do like acrobatics and that kind of stuff. So um, what was I saying about that? Uh, oh yeah, so I don't think I have any video of the jump rope one, but I do have video, a brief video of the um, Russian bar one that I can show you guys. We have made our way over to Nan and Pap's house because they, what, what's the ask here, Mike? I think we're um, moving furniture. Oh, yeah? They get something new? Or, look at that, look at his pipes, you guys. All right, okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going in to move uh, furniture for mom and dad, I guess. And um, this is the remnants. It looks like they already unpacked said furniture. Sure. The movers are here. Where's the job? What do you need us to do? Right in the back. Go back. Movers are here. Movers are here. Hello, pretty lady. What do you need done? You have your work cut out. Oh, what kind of, what are we doing back here? Oh, oh. A new outdoor table. It's always exciting when a package comes and the Amazon person drops off a package. Sure. I picked this up myself. You did? Yes. Okay, Mike. Right? Yes. Oh my gosh, no, really? Look at how nice. <laughs> Mike's been asking for a um, toy, uh, what do you call it? A tissue box cover. I could not find one at Home Goods that was that size, but uh, you, my friend, right? it's black. Boop. Look at that. You're, you're like a hotel. Look. Mike, it's fantastic. I don't think what are you going to do with the little basket that I bought for Does you? Does that look nice? It I'm looks beautiful. You are? Yes, look at that. That is probably the nicest 
tissue paper tissue box I've seen in a very long time. Under twenty dollars. Um, under twenty. See, this is a small thing that um, I have an eye for um, <laughs> things that don't look nice. He does. He, I, I, I laugh, but he really does. It drives me crazy. So. Don't invite Mike to your house if things aren't exactly just so, or <laughs> or if there's clutter all around. I can I can give you a hundred examples. Okay. All right. This is. Uh, We've created an equilibrium, I think, between the two of us. Mike does things like that. <laughs> I do things like this. All right, I'm stalling. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Supposed to get back to work. And hey, welcome home, Ryan Donnelly. Oh, that's the second we play, right? Yes, sir. Nice. All right. Seven people. It is Friday afternoon. Nothing better. What happened to your bus? Oh, it broke down. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I get on the bus, put my AirPods in, I was like, all right, like, can't wait to get home. And then, next thing I know, like, I'm in my phone and I'm playing Game Pigeon with Katie. And then I look up, and there's no other buses around us. No one else left. <laughs> we did not leave. And, like, the bus driver was, like, walking out down the aisle, like, trying to figure stuff out. And I was like, you asked the What's kid happening? next to me, like, what happened? And he was like, the bus broke down. I was like. Uh, you were totally engaged in your game with Katie. Yeah, so I told I, you guys we play Game Pigeon So I got a lot. on the bus, and Alexis was there, and Alexis was like, Charlie is still um, here, I think. I text Charlie, and she is still there. So then she gave me a ride home, which was clutch. Total clutch. Um, but yeah, so that's... That's, that's, that's what happened today. Mm -hmm. All right, your weekend's starting out grand. Yeah, totally. <laughs> hey, we're going to First Friday tonight. You want to join us? Oh. Yeah, why don't you come with us? A little party? Yeah. A little party. A little party. A little, it is. It's a street party, like a festival. Yeah. The first Friday of every month. You can bring somebody if you want. All right. I, I'm, 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 exciting. Oh, my gosh. Palumbo. Oh come aboard. I'm sorry you have to hear me and Dad singing. Our family is uh, not good singing. Like, <laughs> none of us. It's funny because Nana singing. has a beautiful voice. But all of us just... I love it. didn't pass on to us, did it? It didn't pass on. No. It is Friday night. It is time to celebrate. The week is over. Well, the work week is over. We'll put it that way. So you guys, we're going to this event tonight. It's called First Fridays. And apparently, the we've never been to it before. It's our new home, as you know. We've been here for six months, though. It's not really our new home. I mean, how long is it new? Do you think? I think it's after a year. After a year? Okay, so it's still new. Anywho, every Friday, and on every first Friday of the month, oh, we just got a parking spot. Yeah. Every first Friday of the month, um, they have a big, like, festival celebration um, and, like, street party, basically. It's like a block party. And um, we are here for our first, first Friday, which we're pretty excited about. And it's a little chilly. It was kind of warm at night. <laughs> Michael, stop. Michael's like, we totally ah! scored. We scored a parking spot because people are teeming around the parking lot trying to find, find parking. And I have an eagle eye for parking. I'm pretty good at parking. Nailed mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. We make a good team, Mikey. Anyway, so we're going to go in and see what this is all about. Meet some friends and uh, eat Who's some here? food. I'm so totally hungry. Joy's going to be here. Really? I, th I think Cindy and Ted are going to be here too. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Excellent. She's supposed to be, and then maybe we'll see other people that we know. Uh -huh. And Judy coming? I don't know. We asked my mom and dad, but it's kind of crowded for them, so I'm not sure if they, they're going to join us. But we love them, too. Maybe we'll call. Give them a call. All right, guys. So we're going to have fun. Ryan decided not to come. We invited him, but he's like, no. Just with his girlfriend. He is not. He's playing chess, you goofball. Hey, guys. I'm home from our night out. Mike and I had so much fun with our friends. We got to try some new restaurants. We listened to Irish music. We celebrated a first night, um, first, first Friday. Friday. So stinking fun. Yes. And I came home to Rag Guy who was hanging out, chit chatting on the phone with his friend and playing chess. Mm -hmm. How'd you do? I did fine. It was a lazy Saturday, but I got Friday. it done. Friday, same thing. Uh, <laughs> and I couldn't make cookies because I couldn't find the mixer because dad put it in like the recycling bin. <laughs> Right. So when you texted us so while we were out, I was like, hey, Ryan, it's to the left of the stove in the cabinet below on the shelf. No, and right. I came home and it wasn't there. You know where it was? In the recycling bin. I'm yeah. not sure why Mike put it there, but that's where it was. Anywho, sorry. um, yeah, it's okay. But, uh, heavily Saturday, but, or sorry, I said it again. Friday. But it was nice to relax. Good. And 
at the end of a very tough week, just sort of, I'm not very, not it was a very tough week, but just in, in Friday no, yeah. is like the end of like, oh my gosh, I've done all this work. Totally. Just to relax and have the fun. Bus broke down, finally got home. I was like, <laughs> I played chess for a while and then I got bored of chess and then did other things and then I went back to chess and I got bored of chess. And <laughs> Just hung out. But it was fun. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so I called Grant today as well. Oh, how's he doing? We had a great conversation. Aww. Like 30 minutes, he's doing great. Oh, so. that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. See, remember I said in yesterday's video, our Q&A, that I'm not a good keeper and catcher? Ryan, on the other hand, Ryan, Brennan, and Mike are phenomenal keeper and catchers. Katie and I, not good keeper and catchers. <laughs> Actually, Katie's probably better than I am. I'm just not very good at it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So what made you happy today? Uh, what made me happy is uh, getting home after school, walking into the house was fantastic. I go, hey, dad, what day is it? He goes, Friday. I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's a Friday. And then, um, what made me happy is uh, right now, because um, I'm about to go have some ice cream and go to bed. Oh, that sounds like a good Which is just an all-time combo. Mm -hmm. In terms of all-time trios, who you got? I got the Holy, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I got uh, knife, fork, spoon. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward also got to come in there. Okay. Mickey, got, Minnie, and I got, Donald. I got Philip Rivers, Antonio Gates, Ladainian Tomlinson. Okay. I got Brennan, Katie, and Ryan. I got Brennan, Katie, Ryan mm -hmm. as well. I mm -hmm. got. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a, yeah. lot of, there's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of good trios Ooh. out there. I got Aguero, Silva, <laughs> and De Bruyne. Oh, De Bruyne, nah. That's free fire. What made me happy today was two things. Ryan coming home from school. Actually, a lot of things. We had a big day today, but just two things off the top of my head. And when we were out tonight, my friend Joy... Mm -hmm. <laughs> When she found us, so Mike and I were at this Irish restaurant and there was an Irish band playing and they were fantastic. And I texted Joy and said, hey, come find us. We're at the Irish restaurant. She comes in and she comes in dancing. Like she hears the Irish music, Irish music. She comes in dancing. So I jumped up and I danced with her. It was very fun dancing to the Irish band. <laughs> and Charlie texted me. That's also a baby. I mean, it's Charlie. Uh, who is was, my friend Joy's daughter. Yes. And, um, and Ryan's who friend. gave me a ride home today after the bus broke down. Uh, and he drives me to school, and he lives right there. Anyway. Your friend. She's a friend. She's, she doesn't just drive you, but yeah. <laughs> she's just my ride. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she was like, hey, I think uh, Joy is out with your parents right now. <laughs> and yeah. Anyway. It's fun to be friends with our kids. Friends. Friends, parents. parents. Yes. Yes. That's how we met a lot of our people in Annapolis. And that's how, fortunately, we're meeting some people here in Florida, too. So it's mm -hmm. very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. Mike is already in bed. Comment below what made you guys happy yes. today. We cannot wait to see you tomorrow. I am up tomorrow morning for Pickleball. No shot. Oh, yeah. 9 o'clock a.m. Pickleball with my friends. <laughs> I'm going to beat you in Pickleball. All right. Last, All right. last charity is Charlie Ryan Graham. Yeah. My two boys from back home. That's right. Anyway. That's right. That's right. Comment below what made you guys happy today. We cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.